Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I am the author of Toxic Light, a book that looks into the various forms of light in the human environment and related to the illness that it can cause. And today, we're in a typical American bedroom, and we're not going to be looking at light, but rather electromagnetic interference effects. And we're going to use a very simple AM radio which I'm going to switch on right now. And we're going to scan the various things that are in this environment with the AM radio. And we're going to try and pick up on electromagnetic noise. So as we can see right now, it's very quiet in this bedroom. There is almost no electromagnetic noise in here. And the radio is just picking up on static. So the first thing that most people will do when they come into a bedroom is switch on the light. So we're going to do that right now. So our lights just came on. We heard the electromagnetic noise. Let's see what happens when we approach them. So under this particular set of lights, You're producing a lot of electromagnetic noise. We have a light on the corner. Let's see what this one's doing. Very clearly, all the lights in this room are producing electromagnetic interference. And that's because they are compact fluorescent lights in these light fittings. And this is what we're being told to buy to save the environment, conserve energy, and stop putting fossil fuels into the environment. Well, it all sounds great, except for the fact that these light bulbs give out a light that may actually, in the future, be proven to be toxic to the human body. And also, as we've seen, they put out a lot of electromagnetic interference into the environment and it's probably harmful to help long term to have that electromagnetic noise in your environment. So now it's pretty typical of a bedroom. We have a television, we have a video recorder, a DVD player and a stereo system. So let's switch those on and see what they do. And it extends out by about four feet. And we can see that if you walk past this area, you're walking through quite a strong electromagnetic field. And the crazy thing is, none of it is switched on right now. It's all in standby. Our video recorder, the swapping clock, appears to be the work offender. So now I'm going to switch on the TV. So we saw quite a bit of electromagnetic interference coming out. I can actually feel the static on my arm as I will test it. So I'm actually going to switch our uh, fucking video on. It's very electrically noisy. It has a video cassette in, so I'm going to press play. So we're currently playing a video cassette.
So the next thing I'm going to switch on is our DVD player. And it has a DVD in it, so I'm going to put it on to play. So we have a field that's extending a number of feet out from the equipment. So the last thing we need to put on is the stereo system. And I'm going to press play for a CD. So as we can see, we have a very electromagnetic, noisy bedroom. So this appears to be the modern American bedroom environment right now. So what happens if we switch it all off? We still need to switch the lights off. And the last thing we need to do is switch you up at the power strip. So this is our environment now. Very, very different. What we hear on the radio is static. So as you can see, electromagnetic interference is something that we should all be concerned about. And I personally prefer my environment free of electromagnetic interference. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and stay well. Thank you.